Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing something that I know I did not make up. It has been around for a while. I'm gonna take a crate and hang it on the wall and fill it with stuff. But I'm gonna be putting my own spin on it because we gotta be original here, right? All right, so to start off, I got a crate. Now, I've seen a lot of people use regular size crates on their wall. And my only problem with that is I think they stick out too far. So what I'm gonna be using is a old Pepsi crate. Now, I did have to work on this a little bit to get it to hang on the wall. I drilled a hole right in the center here, so that way I can stick a nail through it. The reason I chose to use a Pepsi crate or you can use a Coke crate is because it's not as thick, so you can really put it in a bunch of different places without it sticking out from the wall too far. I have a nail up here already. We're gonna make sure that it's even and push back the whole way. I did put the nail in at sort of like an angle and I drilled the hole at an angle also. So I'm gonna start off, I got this candle mold and I've seen these a lot of different places, but I found this one on sale and I just took a little battery operated candle and stuck it in one of the things just so there's kind of like a glow at nighttime. So we're gonna put this in the center here. Then, I found this little house. I'm really getting into salt box houses right now. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna set it off to the side here. We're gonna move this over just a little bit. Now, I'm gonna take that little sheet and you've seen this before. I had this in my shopping haul video. So I'm just gonna take this and just set it right here. I like to do things in odd numbers. And of course, the tallest one always goes in the middle. Now, I like how this is looking so far, but this blank space up here, I feel like I need to put something up there. So, all I have is a couple of these buckets. Um, this is actually a set of three. This is the smallest one and this is the mid-size one. So, I'm gonna kinda counterbalance them and put the medium-sized one there. And then just put the smaller one up here. Great, well, that's all it took. All I did was take a few things from around my room. I did buy a couple new things. But, I just took this crate, which you could sit around. You could also do this on the floor if you don't want to hang it on the wall. And I just filled it with a few things that I really like. And you could use this in a lot of different places. You could hang these on the wall and store books in them. Um, you could use them to display family photos. But I really love how this turned out. And it honestly took me probably five minutes to fill this. Well, I hope you like this video and I hope you come back next week. And don't worry, I didn't go anywhere. In the next video, it's gonna be the second part to my entryway makeover series. I showed you the one wall where I built the shelf and now we're gonna to go to the other side because that needs some work too. So make sure you subscribe down below and leave me a comment. Tell me what you loved, tell me what you hated. Okay, don't tell me that. If you have any ideas of anything you wanna see me do, just leave it down below. All right, thanks guys, bye.